My name is Stephen Lemke. I am from St. Cloud, Minnesota, where I went to uh, undergraduate. Um, I have a degree in studio art from St. John's University. And here I'm a second year in the Masters of Fine Arts program studying sculpture. Part of the reason why I came to Notre Dame for graduate school um, is I'm really, really passionate about teaching. Um, to have the opportunity to work with the undergraduates here in addition to being a student myself um, is a really energizing experience. Um, to be able to see the discoveries that my students make, um, to kind of work alongside them in that same space, right? And to come out of this program with that additional experience of contact. Um, right now I teach a class called Metal Sculpture. Um, so that has been an um, experience that has uh, taught me a lot about how to think about and speak about my work and the work of others. I think one of my favorite parts about being a student here at Notre Dame specifically, right, um, is this place, right, being able to study uh, my craft, right, sculpture, to be able to have the time and the space um, and the focus, right, to make what I'm making in the context of this incredible campus, right. Um, I think that, uh, you know, it, it means a lot for any graduate student, right, to pick up and move, right, but if you're going to uh, be doing a form of study that results in making a bunch of objects, right, that has another set of concerns, right. Um, so I'm just really happy to be able to be making work um, here in particular um, because my own work deals a lot with like themes of place and uh, belonging and um, issues of sight. Uh, so for me to be able to do that here is an incredible opportunity. I think since my first year uh, here, I came in doing what I would call object-based work, right? As a sculptor, you study, you know, like uh, coming in, right? You study like, you know, mold making or what it means to like make the object, right? What does it mean to have this object exist in space? Um, but as time has gone on, uh, my work has changed, right? It's starting to become um, more, uh, mixed media, right, to include more materials that I really never thought I would use in my practice, right? And then um, in regard to the object-based component, um, it's taken on somewhat more of an installation-like quality, right, where I'm thinking about how my work relates to um, the wall, how does it relate to the corner where the wall and the floor meet, right? How does it relate to the corner where the wall and the ceiling meet? How does the, does the viewer come to experience these pieces, right? Um, since what I'm creating are ultimately these, you know, little vignettes of places, right? Um, I think the experience of coming to know that um, has developed significantly in my time here. I think my advice to an incoming MFA student uh, in the art program um, at Notre Dame specifically would be to take advantage of the uh, incredible diversity of opportunities on this campus. Um, in my first year of studies, I received uh, funding from the Nanavik Institute for European Studies to travel to three exhibitions in Europe, um, including the Venice Biennale, which uh, that kind of exposure to be able to study, uh, for me, the relationship between art and site at these uh, major institutions abroad uh, fundamentally changed my work and how I think about my work and how I talk about my work with others. And that was really only possible because I was able to seek out these opportunities that are available on this campus. So that kind of support um, is available uh, and is something that I would encourage all incoming uh, MFA students to think about very seriously. I think part of the reason why I make work about this theme of place, right, this kind of indescribable um, you know, thing, right, is that that's something I, I, I feel about in my, in my life, like very, very deeply, right? Um, so be, to be able to come to Notre Dame and do that, right, is that's like kind of like a meta read of my work. Um, but for me, it's very gratifying to be able to kind of channel that into what I do, right? Um, and and uh, in turn, help people kind of think about their own role um, in relationship to their own landscape or hometown or whatever that might be. Recently in my work, I've started to incorporate um, iconography of the latter, right? Um, thinking about movement between places, um, this idea that uh, 
you know, obviously, especially in my generation, we're moving all the time um, to attain kind of something more desirable or just something um, different, right? So it's kind of an imagery that for me is, is really loaded with a number of things that I'm able to mine and use, right? Um, the ladders that I make are actually laser cut um, using the facilities that we have here at Notre Dame. And that's been really a transformational way in which I think about how I make my own work, right? Um, especially because my work tends to include multiples or large things in uh, big series where they're often very similar but intended to be read as um, this kind of aggregate whole, right? Um, so thinking about, you know, movements of desire or um, this theme of translocality, which is something that I'm studying, um, our ability to move between. Uh, and what I really like about them is that uh, sometimes when I display them, they lead somewhere, and sometimes when I display them, they dead end, right? Um, which is, you know, not at all meant to be an allegory of the creative process.